Howdy folks, RJ here with Skyborn. It's, it's been a while, which is kind of a theme with my videos, but um, I was moving back home for, for a brief period, um, so the next few videos will not have the silent background that you're used to, unfortunately, because other people live here. Pros and cons, pros and cons. Okay, so let's get right back into this. I'll explain my life story as we go. No worries. The dog is also loose. There is a dog in this location, and he is loose about the house. So I apologize if he bundles in. He's terrifying. I'll, I'll explain as we go. Okay, so wandering around this this stuff. Go to Pitchfork? No. Oh. That's... What is that? Curtain? Whatever. We shall go to the basement. Where we shall find... Whoops. <laughs> doors. Go through the doors. Take it step by step, you know? Oh, wow. This is... This is a really nice setup you guys have got. Oi! Soul is back! And with even more new recruits! Sorry, I, I liked it. <laughs> wow, there's an entire town in here. I've never seen so many of my own people in one place before. Soy is the best leader we've had in years! I like that guy. I like that guy a lot. I can't really. There's no way to. But. It sucks. Um, right. I probably have a very definite location I'm supposed to. These people look good. I'd love to be a spy, but the wings kind of give it away. No kidding. No kidding. Okay. Never mind. I'm looking for XP sparkles, I'm not gonna lie. I'm expecting one or two to be hidden around here. Ooh. Hello. They've given us all rooms down here. Finally, a place we can call home. Mm -mm, not happening again. Uh, um, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. I should probably just um, work out what I was supposed to be doing in the first place. Probably. You know, that was probably over here. But I don't know. Yeah, this looks about right. The brightly coloured girl. <laughs> it worked! She made it back! A few snags, but it all worked out in the end. Claret, this is Gillian, my half sister. But she's a. Uh, yep, a half breed. Hence the half sister evident. One of the lucky ones, I'd say. If I'd be in Sky 1 Jail if Sunny hadn't brought me here. Along with a few of our father's more expensive shipments. I must say, the Rebel Base Decor has improved since I joined up. You're the best leader we've had in years. N not just because of the money. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everyone listens to me yet. I'm looking at you, Jillian. Impersonating the Red Spectre. What were you thinking? So that's how that... Okay, well that makes sense. The plan was for him to distract everyone while we cleared out the ship, but you never showed up. I did fine. You barely escaped in one piece. <laughs> Perfectionist. Well, that was adorbs. That is a phrase that I use now. Don't question me. Can I... So? Did he fool you? Sullivan, I mean. Fool me how? He's an idiot in a funny outfit anyway, you cut it. That's resounding yes if I've ever heard one. S sorry, I know he's your half-brother, but he's... He just... He bothers me. <laughs> he acts that way on purpose, silly. Deep down, he's actually a really thoughtful guy. Okay, then. <laughs> Clara, there's someone I think you should meet. Our senior quartermaster. Goes by Wax. He's in the basement. The stairs are over there to the left. These stairs? These are where they go down to the basement. Oh, wow, nice basement. Wow, this basement is decked out. I like your furnace thing. Please, can I have that? Oh, I'm making stuff on the ammo leg. Oh, uh, it's 200 gun? Never mind, I'll make a. Whoops. Let's see how many of these in here. Yep, yeah, I already got that one. Um, how many of these? I think I only have iron. Um, do I have. Okay! Iron. Okay, I don't know if that was a good or bad thing. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 
Um, is that good or bad? Oh wow, I can equip. Right, it's Iron Dragon plus two. Oh, the plus two is how good it is. Do I want the Mecha or the Pain? I think I want the Pain. Okay. Um, nice. Nice. I have no idea what just happened. Let's talk to this guy. Wax. Well, well. I'm told you're someone I need to meet. What's your name, lass? Clarence Spencer. Uh, hello. Spencer, eh? You don't say. Let me get a look at you. Wow, he walks incredibly quickly. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, old man. Yep, you've got your Mars eyes and your Pa's skull, that's for sure. Do you know my parents? Well, of course I did. They were right up to the day they passed away. So they are dead. Figures. Sad day it was, too. The mission was so botched, we were lucky any of us made it out. I only think what went right was getting you and your brother to safety. Mission? My parents were just mechanics, and they abandoned us. Skies, girl! Did your folks tell you nothing? They were some of those people who started this air operation. Part of the original crew, like me. Back in the day, we had even more folk. Enough so we could actually take on them Skyborns. And we need better gear to do it. Your folks engineers all kind of gadgets to help give us a fighting edge. Didn't work out though. A lot of good people die when the Skyboards discovered what was a foot. That can't have been my parents. They left us. I'm sorry, Lath. They were good folk. Actually, I got something to know what it stowed away. Do you have any interest in it? Sure. Give me some of that. Unfinished blueprint. A. Eh? This design, they call it the Prometheus engine. This is... Go ahead and keep it. I can't make heads nor tails of the thing myself. <laughs> what a lovely giant scribble. Come now, Claire. <laughs> Let's get you settled. I think I know just the place. We've got some open quarters up the stairs, all the way to the right. Oh, he's in me. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, this seems like a small break in the story, so yes. Um, yeah, I'm back at home. Anyone who's been keeping up with my life story will know I'm at university most of the time. Um, plus 100 subscriber points, if you knew that about me. <laughs> um, but I'm back for Easter, so uploads will be very scattered because I live in a village uh, and we don't believe in the internet yet. So um, I have it, but it doesn't really function. Um, so yeah, that, that's par partially the reason why this is however long since the uh, previous one. But hopefully hopefully I'll um, find a way to make that work. Uh, and I'll let you know if, it, if I can't. This doesn't seem correct. Yeah, no, this doesn't seem correct. I think I did something wrong. All the way to the right, didn't they say? Didn't they? Isn't that what happened? Oh, yes. Hey, she's here too. Hey, it's Coggy! Ah! Hell yeah. This is going to be Jake's room, but <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind. Jake? Yeah. He's getting all his ducks in a row before joining the resistance himself. All his ducks in a row. Is that a phrase? Selling a shot, making sure you're well off and such. Oh. Think of how surprised he's going to be when he finds us here. Yeah, that's it, Corwin. It shouldn't be long. Hiding a half-breed is only a medium-level offence. Sleep well, Clara. <laughs> See you in the morning. Thank you for that. It's Coggy. Well, come on, Coggy. I'll say. Okay, we're going to bed. Neato. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm guessing from the colour theme and the fact I'm a small girl that I'm back in time now. I don't know if it's that my game is a bit slow, but movement seems a bit hard. Maybe it's because she's got little legs. Let's 
talk to dearest mama and papa. Claret, honey. Have you been finger painting with the grease? We've talked about this. Daddy? What are you making? It's a special machine, Claret. I'm building it to protect you and Jake and your mum so that nothing bad can ever happen to you. How does it work? Claret, let your father concentrate. But why don't you go help Jake build his model? Oh, it's it's the creation story of Coggy. Oh, you put that on backwards. You're too little to understand. I'm not. It's got to break. Watch. Oh God. <laughs> Mom, Clarence breaking my stuff. Just put it back together without this piece. Give that back! Oh, they're playing. Oh, uh, he hit her! Oh. Now look what you did. The gear snapped in two. <sighs> Fighting the workshop again? Can I broke my toy and then she took a piece of it and broke that too? <laughs> I don't mean to break it. You don't need it! You don't need it! She's right, Jamie. Your toy will be just fine. You've done a great job. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm sorry, Jake. Here's your gear back. It's okay. You can keep it. It's broken now, anyway. This isn't how siblings work. Don't look so down, dear. I've got an idea for those gear pieces. There. I've made up some new jewellery. One for you, and one for me. Oh, that's adorable. Wow, they're so pretty! You see, Clara, even scraps can become something wonderful. Nothing is, is ever too broken to go up on. Too many life, life messages. I wasn't expecting the feels! I just got up, I was like, I should record something. And... <sighs> Laying on thick. Laying on thick. I'd forgotten. All this time I thought they just up and left us. Jake was always telling me they'd be back someday. I wonder if he even knows. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do next time I see him. That was a shift and if I can get him out of jail, that is. I have all the information that Dacian guy wanted, but... If it was just Sullivan, I'd tell him oh, no problem. Sullivan's an interesting love interest. <laughs> but all these people too? Their parents died for this. That and Jake was going to join too. He wouldn't want me to sacrifice all this just to save him. I have to figure out something on my own. Clara, to you. Oh, good morning. Afternoon, to be more accurate. I trust you slept comfortably. How could you not? A shipment of Blackstone Phoenix down mattress has somehow ended up down here by mistake. I was dreaming. My parents. You know that design Wax had? I think they must have been working on it right before they died. That scribbly thing. He's adorably stupid. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know how to read a blueprint. It's some kind of anti-magic defense armor thing. Anti-magic? Do you think it was meant to counter Skyborne battle magic? Probably. Damn. It's a shame it never got completed. Or some, about something like that. We're sitting ducks if the sky will never do find us down here. Yeah, about that. I think I may be able to finish the job. You do that? If Wax is right, then my parents never abandoned Jake and me. They died protecting people they cared about. The least I can do is finish their work. Besides, I'm beginning to think they had the right idea all along. Where would we get the parts? Looking at this blueprint, I've never even heard of some of the materials before. My parents had a workshop somewhere outside the city. I remember the whole family flying up there on weekends. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure I can find it again. Must have been avoiding detection. Alright, so how do we get there? Uh, we? I'm not letting you go there alone. There are so many ways to meet a quick end outside the city walls. Well, I know the workshop was in some desert. Caladori desert, you mean? Sound familiar? Yeah. 
That one. That is to the east. That's a huge area to sweep. I'm sure I can find the right spot again if we just fly there. It's already all coming back to me. And then, by some incredible miracle, we will avoid being shot out of the sky the moment we leave the city. I'm not sure how you know how difficult it is to escape the Skybomb's army's eye. Hmm. Got a better idea? <laughs> of course I do. There's a passage in the coal mines that we use sometimes to smuggle supplies in and out. We could travel that way on foot. Most me. What about you, Corwin? Silence so coming with you, and so am I. I can't let you two get yourself killed while I could have helped. Thank you, my friend. This is going to be a long walk, so we should stock up while we're in town. When ready, the entrance to the coal mines are on the east side of town. Remember that, because I will forget it. East side of town. Can we take Coggy? Oh, I'm taking that as a no. Can I take any of these things, or are these just... That's just mean. That's just mean. Look at all these things I can't have. Oh, it's a, basically a pillow fort. The knobs. I need to stop saying that. <coughs> um, wunderbar. Let's see if there's a shop around here. Just take an inventory. Got us people to feed down here. Sullivan says we lay off the seagull. It's a good idea. Uh, I don't think there are any merchants here. I'm probably totally wrong, and I apologize for that. But I'm stupid. What do you want? What do you want from me? Wait, east side of town. Does he mean down here or down... Or back up there? Oop. I think he means back up there. Drama. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to mute my mic while I sneezed. <laughs> but I think I'm good. Uh, tickles. I think I think I'm good. I'm sure no one will ever bother to check here. By the way, it's totally inconspicuous. Two towers in the middle of the port district. And we all know what that means. Uh, I'm guessing this is what he was talking about. Didn't they go here before? Hey, Sully, I keep the mines clear, like you ordered. Oh, okay. That's really gonna work out in our favour then. The coal mines. <clears throat> oh, people live here. <gasps> gimme, give gimme, give gimme that XP. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's a heel square. Well, now I look ridiculous. Uh. Anvil, pile of things. None of this is any help whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, monsters. Naturalig. Oh, monsters. Ah, oh, monsters everywhere. Okay. In that case, we're gonna work our way back here, and that. That is where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. Today, this morning. What time is it? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Not even tired. I just needed more oxygen in my face, you know? That oxygen. We were, well, fortuitously, we, we remained blissfully Flynn free. Flynn being the name of my dog. He's a cocker spaniel, I think. I don't know. My parents kind of bought him to, um, make my sister happy when I went to uni. <laughs> she, she likes company, which is fair enough. So, yeah, he replaced me. <laughs> anyway, but, um, he, he didn't interrupt, which is nice. He let me, he let me have my thing. Which is lovely. Boop! Wonderful. Excellent, what's been fun, guys? I wish you well. Until we, until we meet again. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Alright. Cheers, guys.